Hi guys, welcome to today's video, hope you're all doing well. My name is Annie and today we are going to check out all the performances of episode 8 of Kingdom. I just finished watching all the performances from episode 7. I did already check out the episode as well, episode 8. I did skip all the performances so that I could check them all out with you guys. We will be starting out with the vocal units of the third round. So if you don't know exactly what is going on for episode 8 you can go in the description box i'll put all the links for my previous videos on kingdom but i think if you are watching this already this late it means that you have already watched the episode so the first performance that we are going to check out for the vocal unit is by the group it's one and it is the group composed of sang yun and new from the boys in sung and jay won from sf9 as well as june and jinhua from icon i'm so sorry for the bad pronunciation of all of their names and they are actually doing a cover of the track called spark by Taya, which is one of my favorite tracks from her it is a very strong powerful track very fiery and i definitely have high hopes from it because we have some amazing vocalists performing. During the episode it was really cool to see them working together as I said for the previous unit and sort of the way they came up with the best combinations of vocals for example having New and June combining their voices together how they worked on the harmonies when they come all together to sing was really really cool to see and unfortunately i already know the end result and because i did already watch the episode i already know that something happened during the performance but i have not watched it yet one thing that was really cool as well was seeing them rehearse the track and sing it over and over again in the studio so that they could have the perfect arrangement and everything and that was really cool to see them so invested in the track so now that we mention it all let's jump right into it and see the first performance of it oh. harmonies are so freaking good it's actually really cool that both groups both units decided to do a cover of a female soloist Wow, they still prepare like a performance side twist. Wow, I love his rougher vocals. Must have been so freaking hot on stage. Wow. So full and sustained, so freaking good. Wow. 
わー So cool the harmonies Wow, chills. The combination of the two of them is so nice. Oh. Ah, now I understand it, and oh, because afterwards they were um, like talking about the performance and how, um, like he pulled it off so freaking well during the episode while they were like working on it and rehearsing, and that is a thing. He did that note so freaking well during rehearsals, but also he did it like countless times in order to achieve the perfect one. And that is something that is really difficult because when you are doing such difficult notes and you are on the studio you can sort of do it again and perfect it just that alone but when you have to perform it it's a completely different thing because you have to pull it off no matter what conditions you are in and you have to do the rest of the track and think about the performance and everything so it is already super complicated to do that one note um in just like the studio <laughs> environment so if you have to do it on stage you have to be able to do it like this and it is such a hot thing to do and if you watch the episode you know that he pulled it off so freaking well so beautifully and in this one he strained it a little bit and the way he attacked the note was a little bit too too hard and so he wasn't able to take it in one go he had to stop and then try again but he didn't take his full breath so he sounded strange and at the end of the performance he was really sad about it which I completely understand if I put myself in his shoes I would have cried my eyes out like such a difficult thing to deal with because it's like it's your big moment you're on stage the rest of the team counts on you and you put this huge pressure on yourself on your shoulders and you have to pull it off no matter what so he did that to himself but in those cases he sort of can render your performance even more complicated to achieve because you have all that stress on you and so he did still a great job but it's one of those things that you see like the importance of having um, those types of performances and how sometimes you can achieve it in the studio but singing it live is completely different um, at the end of it he was like explaining how sad he was about his performance but they still delivered an amazing performance um, so I completely understand it but I hope that you can see that the way they did the arrangement the performance they pull it off so freaking well and it, even afterwards knowing the end result and knowing that he was actually the Mayfly team that we are about to check out that won the performance but I still think that he does not have to blame himself for the end result because they did their best and that is shit that happens when you're doing a live performance and it's normal and that will make him just if he continues to train himself and everything will make him just in the end just a better performer and a better singer in the long run so i hope he's not watching this video but i still hope that he sees that and understands that it happens and he will grow from it and do bigger and better performances in the future so overall i just think that this performance was really cool i love the arrangement that they did of it the uh, harmonies at the very beginning at the very end were really nice the ad libs are so freaking good and i love especially the combination of june and new for the ad libs and the harmonies. Songyun did a beautiful job with those high notes and 
Jinhua, I was not expecting him to be such a great singer and I loved it. Um, who am I forgetting? Oh, of course, we have uh, Jaewon from SF9. I'm not at all like that familiar with SF9's members and their abilities and whatnot, but I will definitely pay more attention from now on for towards the group because they have great vocalists, great dancers, and uh, he impressed me with his stability and uh, the way he played with the emotions in his vocals. So really impressed with this performance despite the little ick that happened for the high note. So now let's move on to the Mayfly performance that is of only three members being John Ho from 80s, Eun Kwan from B2B and Sun Min from Shui Jin. I found that their collaboration was so natural, like as soon as they met uh, to like discuss which song they wanted to do, it was just so instant, like their song choice. Both Eun Kwan and Sun Min both chose Love Poem by IU, which is one of my favorite songs from her. I know I said that for Spark, but it's true. I freaking love IU and Love Poem is such a great, great song and a very emotional one at that. So as soon as they met, they were able to pick the song and start working on the arrangement. Ukwon was the one doing the arrangement and they chose like the harmonies and everything and seeing them work together just seemed so natural. Now that we mention every single thing, let's jump right into it and see how they perform the love poem by Ayu. Ooh, black and white. It seems to be that they decided to go with a much simpler performance. The reaction shot are like really extra, but his voice is beautiful. Wow. It's really cool how they look at each other for the harmonies. Such clean vocals. You're so surprised. It's all in the subtleties. Wow. Wow, the control. It's really cool to see how they interact when they sing. He seems so relaxed with his voice. Oh. 
Oh, his ad libs are amazing. I really want to listen to it again. It just brought tears to my eyes. <sighs> I hope that they do release this one as well on Spotify or something like that because I will listen to it <laughs> over and over again. And I freaking love the original, but they definitely made this song their own. And I am so blown away by the entire performance. So, um where to start it's amazing how we've seen like the um the very natural chemistry how they were able to just feel like this natural flow and work together and everything and i'll see the end result of it which is like a beautiful performance all in subtleties and just so strong when it's needed so fragile when it's needed conveying so much emotion the way they work with the harmonies while looking at each other those are definitely the little details that make the entire difference when you're watching the performance and connecting with it and feeling the emotion of it all it's just so freaking good and i cannot say it enough the ah the just the feeling of it the emotion Unkwan, Sungmin. Sungmin really surprised me the most because I am already familiar with John Ho and Unkwan from like their powerful vocals, the beautiful notes and everything as I am a big fan of 80s and B2B for the longest time but in straight case it didn't, at the very least as I know, as I am more familiar with the title tracks uh, perhaps in the B-sides they he was able to showcase that side of him but oh my god I'm so impressed with his clean voice and super beautiful control over his vocals and everything beautiful performance I love it I wish I can listen to it over and over again oh my god this is a beautiful performance <laughs> I love it I love it so at the end it was actually this performance that won um from like both of them and the other performance of spark was really great as well but this one just takes it to a whole nother level of like the simplicity of the performance as they are just standing on top of like white pillars wearing white and black and really being it really sophisticated the focus is just on their vocals and it really pays off and i love it so that marks the ending of the uh, unit round and so we move on to round three part two of no limit and we actually start with icon's performance of classy savage it was really cool to see how they like decided to pick a song and they actually went with the song pretty savage from blackpink which actually is one of those songs that i listened to and at first i was like okay i like it but and after watching so many performances of blackpink and listening to the track over and over again i was like i love it <laughs> and so yes uh, I am really, really excited to see how it goes. And actually, this performance had Lisa in it. Queen Lisa is part of it. So I'm really excited to see how it goes. I did see some bits here and there on IG because Lisa is performing in it and she has like the knee high boots and everything. The only thing is like she's wearing a two hug. Hug. I'm sorry for my bad pronunciation of it and um, I've seen a lot of different discussions about uh, K-pop idols wearing that as it is part of the black culture and it represents something entirely different than what they are doing in Kingdom but still for today's video I won't go too much in depth about that in particular there are great YouTubers talking about it on YouTube about the entire thing about also about cultural appropriation and everything. Another thing that is really funny is the fact that they decided to go with 
pretty savage because I didn't really want to go with a very like famous track from Blackpink like the title track like doo -doo -doo -doo, and all those tracks but actually <laughs> Stray Kids decided to go with doo -doo -doo -doo. so it was really fun to actually see them be like no 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 let's not do that and another group come up to the exact opposite conclusion and be like no 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 let's do one of their most famous tracks they actually chose it not because it was the most popular one but because they really wanted to mix it with God's Menu with a doo 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 <laughs> but more on that afterwards for now let's check out Classy Savage they are so dramatic wow <laughs> I actually saw a lot of people that thought that Big Bang would participate when I saw Big Bang. <laughs> like all YG artists would come on stage with them. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. It's really cool, they made it feel like a movie. <laughs> My god, what is that hat on? They always have the best stages, like the props. What is going on? All blinks. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Transition was really cool from one back to the other. <laughs> really want to sing along. something on my eyes Ooh. what is going on oh my god <laughs> that face <laughs> what is going on wow okay it's really epic the entrance? Oh my god! Oh my god, I have something on my eyes! <sighs> that is a, such a cool entrance. She looks stunning. Run, run, run. Yay. Classic, Whoa! 
The YG ending. Climax of them all dancing together. Icon! Oh, he has a remote. Oh! And that's the way to end the performance. It's really cool. Okay, so first and foremost, I did really enjoy how they changed a little bit the arrangement of the track, but didn't change it completely. So we still recognize it right away that it is uh, pretty savage, and we still have the main beat, the main sort of melody that is really like the one thing that we all recognize right away but they still added some other elements especially some influences from like the egyptian sort of um, music let's say or what we think as a stereotype is like the egyptian stereotype music um because we have like the pharaohs 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 i don't know how you say it in english and we have all of those different aspects of like how they enter this new civilization and we can find it in the arrangement and that I find really cool especially as we have some other elements that have like the signature YG style as well as the signature icon, icon as well as the signature icon sound and that I enjoy a whole lot. When it comes to the performance I find it to be so freaking fun and it really suits icon style and concept overall of them just playing around adding a little bit more of acting to the performance of them starting in front of the screen and then moving on to this new civilization that just opened its doors for them and uh, the choreo and everything really is really playful as well lisa killed it as per usual she's so freaking amazing and even though her participation in, in it is really really small let's say it is still really impactful and really cool in how it actually was um, able to act as a transition so then we could have like the rest of the performance and them all wearing the golden jackets. It was really cool to have your their voices speaking through as well. They are not like really reliant only on the pre-recorded vocals or the backing track. We could hear them singing, which was really nice. As per usual, I did really enjoy Bobby's rap verse. It was really, really cool. And I did really enjoy that transition between one moment and the other as they put the hat on their faces. June's vocals were really cool as well, especially as he went for that high note, which he struggle a little bit as his voice tends to be like really rough uh, but he did it really really well and all the rest of the members pulled it off so freaking well and it had this very uplifting very like like party-esque type of vibe and concept that I enjoyed a whole lot so this is a really great performance in my opinion from Icon. So now let's move on to the next performance, which is by Stray Kids with the song Gods Do 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 Do. And so they are performing the track Do 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 by Blackpink. And it's really interesting how a bunch of the performances that um, they chose during Kingdom were like performances or songs by female artists or female groups. I was not expecting it, but I love it a whole lot. Ah, by the way, before we watch it, I did see on uh, Twitter that actually this performance it has like the Deadpool concept which I find to be so freaking creative and actually after the performance aired uh, Ryan Reynolds did mention it and start following Stray Kids on Twitter because he was like such a big fan of this performance as well which I find to be so freaking cool when we have like the K-pop world that mixes with the Western world and we see it more and more often. I still find it really cool to see that he sort of recognized their performance and like applaud them for that. I find it to be so freaking cool. So now without further ado, let's check it out right now. It's really cool that they played with the symbol like they had in the very beginning, the crown and Deadpool's logo. Hey, God's menu. Hey, it's Felix. So cool. Oh. oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yay! I love his accent. But this is actually pre-recorded, it feels like. Today, I think something crazy is going to happen. What? I think it's ready. Is that a huge... Mm. Rice cooker? 
Whoa, it starts right away. Whoa. Do -do 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 -do. Wow. They changed so much the song. Whoa. We love the rock twist that they added to it. It's much heavier. Yes, I mean. That was so cool, that move behind. Oh. Whoa! The combination is so good! <laughs> Looks so cute! So rough! I must say I'm not like the biggest fan of like choreos with guns But it's like a Deadpool concept so it's okay Every single time that he sings, he seems so relaxed. Why is he wearing that hat? <laughs> oh, they also had the concept of the remote. Oh, you're still here? I know, right? The performance was fantastic. I still did. Um, we borrowed this from a little ant guy, but with this. We're gonna blow this place. Wow! <laughs> yes, dance break. My God, such a great dancer. Whoa! <laughs> Felix just going for it. My son, what? <laughs> And there's the flags as well. They had the same ideas as Icon. <laughs> Me too. Wow. That was a great performance. That is a way to close off this video with an amazing performance by Stray Kids once more. I really love the fact that they decided to go with a Deadpool concept, which is so unexpected, but I freaking love it. And the fact that they were so creative in order to just put God's Menu and do 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 together and do this mashup. And I feel like their arrangement of the track just makes it that you have some elements, some hints here and there of do 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 do, but otherwise it feels like a completely different track that they did from beginning, from scratch. Because you can clearly see the investment of the members in producing a track that is completely different from uh, like the original track that they taking the inspiration from and making a completely new one with this new performance and like the creativity of it all is just wow i'm just so freaking impressed by this performance I find that it's super cool the concept the dancing skills are amazing the vocals that we can clearly hear at some points we love the different transitions as we have like deadpool breaking the fourth wall they are able to talk to the like the audience as well and they played with the remotes as well which <laughs> icon did 
And I'm not saying that one or the other copied the other, not at all. It's mostly to say that sometimes coincidences happen and they actually had the same ideas and they portrayed them completely differently. Uh, like I said, I'm also not a big fan of like uh, performances in which like they are dancing with guns, like not my favorite thing ever. But in here, it really pulled it off. It looked really nice. And I can sort of ignore that side of it. <laughs> but I think it suited it as they were playing with God's menu and doo -doo -doo -doo. it made sort of sense of going with the, the guns. Um, but just overall, it is a really strong performance, really creative. And if they win this round, it doesn't shock me at all because of how strong the performance is. I love it a whole lot. They did a brilliant job. So guys, those are overall all of my thoughts for the last part of the unit round as well as the very beginning of the second part of the third round. What did you think about all the different performances? Which one is your favorite? I think I will check out the performances of episode nine, despite not having watched the episode, because I'm just so excited to see what the other groups did for the second part of the round. And then I'll wait a little bit so that I can edit it all and check out episode 10, perhaps on Sunday, because then I will have some time to edit all the videos that I just filmed. But so far, so good. I loved it a whole lot. So you, if you want to show your own thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, I would gladly appreciate it. Guys, thank you once more for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. More coming very, very soon. So stick around for more. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and even click that little bell icon so you are notified whenever I post new videos. And I hope I will be seeing you in my next one. Bye! Singing to the end,